Hey guys, welcome back. This is Mavis here with you, and we are playing more Seven Days to Die. Um, for those of you who don't know, I went camping this weekend, and I broke my foot. I broke my ankle, in fact. Um, so I guess I was trying to emulate this game. This game was following me everywhere I go. Wants me to break my foot. Um, so that's part of the reason why I don't have my webcam on today. Um, it's really hard to do everything when you can't move your foot. And it's in a temporary cast right now, so I can't get it wet and all that jazz. Um, so I took a shower last night, but I haven't showered today. So my hair's all crazy. I don't have a lick of makeup on. Uh, I'm still in my pajamas. I don't feel like showing you guys my face. <laughs> and I apologize for that. Um, so I've basically just sat here through the night and... Um, waited for the day to be here and I got everything that I need out of my chest here okay, let's just make sure our corpse is empty um, I'm going home I got my waypoint set I'm a little nervous still and I don't care if I uh, bring out the big guns I'm gonna wait till it's a little bit more daylight to go um, I was looking at my map earlier, waiting for the night to pass, and there's quite a bit still that we haven't um, gone through, but I'm going to save that for another Hub City run. Um, it's always nice to have more gear here at my fingertips, so... Fuck. Alright. That means we're going. Hello, fun fellas. Goodbye, fellas. I am going home now. In fact, let's have some coffee. I would still like to look for brass on my way home, because that is something that is still very important to our cause. And I don't feel like I, very, I got very much. Oh. Ah! Die, you little bastard. God damn it. I think there's another one. <gasps> oh. I am so jumpy today. Oh my goodness. I will get someplace safe and I will get some antibiotics. Let's reload. Just so we have that at our fingertips. Hello. Goodbye. So I'm using just fraps today. So hopefully I won't have too much um, exploration lag. Since we don't have a webcam on my face. I still feel like I hear people running behind me. Maybe it's just my footsteps. <gasps> ah! I was right! Are there more? on you? Nope. Okay, well, we're still in this burnt out place. I want my my good gun. Oh, goodness. So, other than breaking my ankle, camping was a lot of fun. Um, so we got there on Friday night, um, and we were actually the first ones there. Um, one of our friends had to, he was like a, I don't know, during, at a fishing tournament during the day. I hear a bee. Um, so he didn't get back. He got. I think he got back like an hour after we got there. And then his wife was out grocery shopping when we arrived at their house. And um, our other friends hadn't arrived either. I don't want the vitamins. So when everybody did get there, I... Okay, so we had camped at my friend's house. And he had, like, a patch of woods behind his house. So we went back there. And do I need to cross yet? I was looking for a bridge to maybe kind of, like, just open up the map a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, when... I think we're going to go across now. 
when our friend got there, um, we got our tent set up and everything, and um, I had made dinner for the first. Uh, oh, damn it. Uh, I thought you were dead. Okay, what was I saying? Gosh. Um, I had made dinner, and luckily we had a house at our disposal, and um, all that jazz, so I made a crock pot full of, um, like, taco chicken and it was so good it was the best and if you guys are interested in the recipe to try because it was fabulously easy um all i did was i did like five great big huge chicken breasts and i kind of cut them up into smaller chunks and then um put a jar of salsa in and then a packet of taco seasoning and that was it i cooked it on oh, I'm missing cooked it on high for like four and a half hours and it was ready to go and it was so good and then we were able to like I had it was it made a ton too um we had we camped with oh my god what is wrong with me we camped with three couples total and one couple they're actually on the advocare diet right now so they weren't able to eat any of the stuff that we had planned to cook so it was just four of us but um the couple that we were camping at their on their property their kids were home too so they were able to eat we had leftovers like all weekend um on sunday when we actually left i ended up having um like a little breakfast quesadilla and i made, i put the chicken in there too so it it was awesome um i don't need those okay so wait, we're still going this way Let's look at the map. I want to keep trying to open things up a little bit more, like I said. Um, so Friday night we had the tacos that I made. And then I had also pre-made a casserole and stuck it in her fridge. And then Saturday morning before we went canoeing, uh, all I had to do was throw in the casserole and we had breakfast at our fingertips. Um, I wasn't as, as impressed with the, the casserole that I made. Um... It called for, I don't actually need this lead. I have tons of lead at home. So I made, I took a can of biscuits and I cut them up with a, a pizza roller and lined the bottom of a, a casserole dish with um, the biscuits and then um, put in, it said you could do like breakfast sausage and I have a little trick up my sleeve. I use this, like a sausage crumble. I think Bob Evans or somebody makes it. I'm not exactly sure what brand it is. Uh, but they're pre-cooked. All you have to do is, like, heat them up. I, I like to put them on top of pizzas, um, in eggs, that kind of stuff. And so I use those crumbles, and I put uh, bacon bits and cheese and then, um, like, ten eggs, I think. I scrambled them up and added, like, a half a cup of milk or something. And I still need to go this way, so let's go this way. Let's check this trash real quick. Um... But it was okay. I wasn't a huge fan of the biscuits in it. Next time I think I'm going to try hash, hash browns. I think that would probably probably uh, end up being better. Um, so yeah, then on Saturday we went canoeing. And the canoeing trip was awesome. It was so much fun. Um, we got three canoes. And then we tie them together with our life jackets. And then um, we call it the party barge. <laughs> We're all connected together, and um, it's really hard to tip them at that point, too. So that was kind of cool. Um, and the kitty is saying, yes, it was fun. He didn't go, though. <laughs> um, my earbuds are popping up from smiling. So, um, canoeing, yeah, it was fun. Um, no real, like, eventful things really happened during the canoe trip. We just, you know, we did drink a little bit. Um... I didn't drink a whole lot. And then I actually have been way drunker on previous canoeing trips. Um, do I want to cross here or not? I don't know. So when we got back from the canoeing trip, we were all dirty because the we went um, on this creek that's not very clean. And uh, is that winter biome up there? All right. Oh, we're, we're turning anyways. So, okay. Um... No, kitty, stay down. Stay down. So, um, when we got back, I was, like I said, I was dirty, and we were getting ready to start dinner, and I had 
grabbed my stuff out of my tent and I jumped on the four wheeler. My husband took his truck to, and headed back up to the house and I jumped on our four, the four wheeler that was there and headed back up to the house. Well, I was fine. I drove the four wheeler up there. I've driven a four wheeler before, just so you guys know, I know what I'm doing. But when I parked the four wheeler and I swung my feet around to get off, I didn't realize that I parked on a very uneven spot. And when I swung my feet over and stepped down, um, let's go through this. Um, I rolled my ankle in a very, very peculiar place. Like when I stepped down, I just, I rolled my ankle. Um, I went to all fours and then, um, yeah, I, I couldn't, I couldn't really move. I actually climbed back up on the four-wheeler and I hollered at my friend Leo until actually our friend's dad was there. He was watching the kids and he came running out first and he's like, who, like the look on his face when he came running out of the house was like, oh my God, who's hurt? And then he sees it's me and he's like, I don't know you. I can't help you. <laughs> it was actually quite funny. Um, okay, we're headed the wrong way. So we need to go down this hill. Hi, lady. Um, we're just gonna keep running. So my friend Leo came and then my husband got up there about the same time that they both came out and um, my husband carried me into the house and then um, they put me on the couch and got me an ice bag and as soon as like the ice got to me, like we could tell it, it needed to be looked at. It was already really swollen and just nasty looking. Um, and actually, this isn't the first time that I have broken my ankle, so I'm kind of now a professional at knowing when my ankle is broken. Um, so they um, actually made me something to eat because I figured it was probably going to be the last time I was going to get to eat for a while because usually your ER trips are not quick. Um, hey, guy. So I ate a chicken quesadilla <laughs> or a burrito. I'm not even exactly, I think it was a burrito. I ate a burrito that time um, with my leftover chicken. So that was nice and quick and easy and ready to eat right there. Um, and then um, my husband threw me in the truck and I still had my swimsuit on and I was still kind of wet and gross and that kind of sucked. But we headed to the emergency room. Uh, we were actually in Crawfordsville, Indiana. Um, so it was a really small, um, little ER and there were a lot of people there already and actually I'm kind of impressed I didn't actually have to wait that long um, by the time we did get there though my ice pack had melted uh, I do want that and here's another road okay we're still gonna go this way um, so yeah do we have beer I'm not thirsty I can't drink the beer so um, went to the ER they did an x-ray and the fracture is called an avulsion fracture if you guys want to google it um, it's actually where when you like twist your ankle sort of and it's pretty much the same thing that I did before um, the ligament chips off a bone off the side of your ankle so yeah tons of fun um, why can't I have you are you not for really there? Okay, fine. Um, we'll take that food. Okay. So yeah, I uh, the the ligament or tendon or whatever it is is like so strong that it chipped off a piece of my bone, and so now I have a second piece of bone floating around in my ankle. So I have to go. Excuse me. To a. a orthopedic surgeon next week and um, I guess I'll look at it and previously I was not impressed with the doctor that I went to um, it cost me $900 and I don't think I was insured at the time I have insurance now so that's one good thing um, actually let's trade these for those glasses glass jars that way we can get more water as we go um, but yeah it cost me $900 for him to look at the x-ray and say yep your bones chip and then he didn't do anything. He didn't, there was nothing, no treatment that he offered or anything. And it took me a really long time to heal from that because he didn't put a cast on it. And I didn't go to the emergency room 
right away like I should have. I waited like three days before I decided to go because I wasn't insured. So uh, when you have insurance, it makes a little big difference. So hopefully, hopefully I don't have to pay a whole crap ton of money this time. Um, so yeah, I'll have an appointment this, this time with a guy. They did put a temporary cast on, on my foot at the ER, which I kind of am... I like it a little bit better because before I did an air cast is what it's called and basically it's just this blow up thing that you strap on your foot and you can still take it off whenever you want to and it put a lot more pressure on my foot which hurt a lot more and made me want to take it off. Um, this, I actually have a cast on my foot, a temporary cast and um, it immobilizes my foot. I can't do anything. I'm on crutches right now. Um, they did give me pain medicine which I'm very thankful for because it's very painful and I, I told my husband, I said, I, I can't believe that I went three days before um, the last time without anything. I'm, I'm stupid. I can't believe that. Um, basically, I the pain medicine that they gave me, I'm kind of nervous about taking it because I'm not, pain, I'm, pain, I'm not good with pain medicine. Um, so I've only been taking a half of one and then pretty much sleeping the entire time. It's the only, only way I can sleep. Like, I wake up in the middle of the night in so much pain that... I can't sleep, so at least those help help me sleep. They're they're working, I guess. Uh, so yeah, that's that's tons of fun, tons of fun to deal with. Um, I actually think that I'm gonna cut the video here for a moment. Um, if I find of anything fun, any what is that actually? Oh, uh, it's a barn. Let's go over there. Let's reload our gun. Um, let's eat this. Let's get honey on the bar, although maybe I should have beer. Hydration, wellness, stamina is 40. Oh yeah, let's do the honey. Okay. Um, ow. Um, while we're going over to this to check it out, I do want to just finish up my story just a smidge. Um, so when I came off the four-wheeler, I didn't really, I didn't realize because I was so fixated on the popping noise and, and the clearly that my, there was something wrong with my foot that um, I actually injured the other foot as well, and I didn't even have the doctor look at that while I was there at the emergency room, which is fine. Um, I'll have the other guy look at it when I go. Uh, yeah, this one. So it kind of, it sucks because I'm trying to get around using that other foot. Oh, there's a fucking dog right there. Not anymore. Oh, I do hear one still, I think. Okay, go up. Oh, nope. Okay. Um. So, yeah, it kind of sucks trying to get around on one injured foot when both of your feet are injured. Um, just putting pressure on the other one hurts like a mofo. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, so... Uh, I'm definitely gonna have the doctor look at it, though, because it kind of worries me. There is a giant bruise on the top of the other foot, and I kind of feel like maybe my toe <laughs> might be broken. Um, I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed that it's not. Um, yeah, okay, I think we're done in there. So let me cut away, and when I am back someplace fun. Do I have feathers in my inventory? No. Okay. When I'm back someplace fun or something else fun happens, I will let you guys know for sure. So I'll be back in just a second. I think I see our tree farm ahead. Oh, yay. It's so nice to be home. Uh, let's take that out of there. Yes. Okay. I don't want that either. Take that out. Okay. So then maybe it will respawn its loot. Uh, I don't need those right now. I'm full. Oh, my foot hurts. Oh, I have it propped up underneath my desk on um, my little subwoofer I have, but it is not propped up enough. And when it starts to be like below my heart rate for so long, it starts to really hurt. Um, so I need to get that propped up better. Um... And I am past my overdue on my next pain med. 
Um, all right, fine. I'll just ignore you for now. Oh, it's so nice to see my house. I'm so happy to be home. Are we undetected? We are. Okay. So I need to unload some things, and then um, I need to get some ammo going again. Because we are running low on our magnum ammo. And then I'd like to um, start maybe making the basement of my base. So, uh, let, let's just, so you guys know what all I got. I did pass up a couple good pistols, which I'm kind of upset about now, but oh well. And that barn had some more oil barrels for me, so that was exciting. Um, I got another sawed-off shotgun. Um, it's alright. I left behind the other spike club thing, whatever I found. The I don't know what it was, because this one is more powerful. Um, yeah, I don't know. My cat is being weird. Kitty, stop it. So yeah, I'm going to cut away again and get some stuff put away and start working on some things. And I'll be back with you guys here momentarily. All right, guys. So I just broke through the bottom of my base here. And do you remember when we had our, I think it was our 21 day board and there was something living under my base? Well, I found where it was digging. Um, it must have just spawned here. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know how that happened. Um, it doesn't look like it got in anywhere, that feral guy, so it's totally weird. Oh well, I'm, I'm kind of nervous to build this because I don't want this thing to collapse on me in my house. Hopefully it's sturdy enough that it won't. Fingers crossed. Um, I want to go all the way down. Reload. I probably just dig this out with my shovel, but it's an auger. I didn't use my auger. Duh. Okay, let's get the ladder area set up better. And I'm actually going to cut away, and I'm always recording, so, well, right now I'm always recording. So if anything fun happens, you guys will be the first to know, but I'm guessing it's not. Nothing fun's going to happen, which is okay. I'm all right with that. Um, but yeah, I'll be back with you guys shortly. Okay, guys, so I've got the basement done, and now we need to get some storage and stuff going on down there. Let's take this. Um, do we have a can? No, but I could eat, and I could make a can. Let's eat that. Okay, let's go downstairs. I want to put a hatch over this as well. Everything is still drying. And the ceiling is kind of low, but we'll we'll manage with this. Okay, and I left a little hole here because I think I'm gonna dig over um, and kind of have like the two houses connect. So we'll see how that works out. Um, I want to make some forges. I don't know if I can tear the ones down that are upstairs. Um, I guess that's all we're getting. Three. And then storage. We'll do one of those. We'll do a food one. We'll do building. Help need a bandage. I don't have any cloth on me, I don't think. So we will. <clears throat> okay, how do we want to do this? I guess this wall can be forges and such. Um, can we make a shelf? No. Um, what about... 
Uh, what do I want? Uh, not armor. There we go. A nightstand. Hmm. Wooden chair. Um, cabinet. That's kind of cool. Um, cool, we can make leather couches and stuff. All right, awesome. Potted plant. How do you make that? What is that? A clay bowl. Okay. And a wooden desk. Okay. Uh oh. I hear friends coming. Um, that's a horde. Oh, go up. Don't break your leg. Okay, I'm glitching. And now I'm going to be sensed. I'm sensed. I don't see them. Oh, fuck. Those guys should come with like a lantern on their heads. Because otherwise, how am I supposed to see them? I need more torches out there, I guess. Hide nor hair of a zombie. Do you guys see this zombies? <gasps> I thought I saw one, like a crawler. <gasps> oh, there's a cop. Is that a cop? Get in there. Jump on those spikes. You know what you want to. Fuckers. Well, I just drew in a horde. Apparently not. Cops are stupid. I'm kicking my cat. Where are you going, cop? <laughs> this is funny. I hear a feral. He's dying on my spikes. Yep, somebody died there. Oh, it's daytime. Where you at, punk? Maybe that was a cop, not the, not a feral. I'm hunted, though. I don't see anybody. I see one guy. A guy. Where you at, zombies? I need to go take some pain medicine. Leave me alone. Um, I am thirsty. Let's have a beverage. Where you at, dude? Okay, I'm gonna go down there and see if I can draw them out. I don't want them 
trying to live in my base. Better not be in the basement already. Maybe I should put a hatch over that one area. Base is secure. Hmm, this is curious. Just check the house real quick over here. Oh, hi. Don't be inside my house, yo's. Just check the house real quick. Now he sounds like he might be out in that garage. Hello? Is anybody home? You know, I actually need to, I'm glad I came over here. I need to reset my spawn. Uh, where's my bed? Uh, over there. Can I pick you up? Pick things up and put them down. Okay, spawn is set. I think that guy is over in... I'm not going to worry about it, though. Um, I'm actually going to do a couple things, just cleaning house around here real quick, and then I'm going to be done. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching, and um, I appreciate all the support I get from you guys. It, it's really great. Um, just so you know, because of my whole injury and stuff, I might slow down just a teensy bit on episodes. They might not be every other day. They might be every couple days. Um, it's kind of painful to sit here, and um, I don't know if I'm going to do that much. So, yeah, I'm going to go. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next episode.